Hello and welcome! My name is Arslan. And my name is Alina. And in this video, we are going to tell you how to connect our wired sensors escort to your PC and laptop. And if you have any difficulties connecting the sensor, how to deal with them and how to run some basic diagnostic on the device. To connect the sensor, you need to couple it with the C200M converter via its Molex connector that has six pins. The converter itself needs to be connected to your laptop or PC via a USB cable that goes into the USB port of the device. To be able to use the C200M converter and configure the sensor, you need to install the drivers. They are currently installed along with the configurator program. And also you will need to install the Windows libraries that can be downloaded from our website's downloads section in particular, Additional Files tab. In the configurator, you need to select the COM port with the number that corresponds to the converter. To find it, go to the Windows Device Manager, the section with COM and LPT ports. The EC200M must be listed there as a ST Microelectronics Virtual COM port with a certain number. You need to select the COM port with that number in the configurator. However, sometimes the sensor will not connect despite that the drivers were installed properly. The reason might be that the power supply is not enough for the device. In this case, to give more power to the sensor, connect another USB cable to the add power port of the C200M and to the USB port of your PC or laptop. Also, make sure that the laptop is connected to the local socket. If using a converter of some other brand, which has no Molex connector, to give the sensor extra power, you need to connect the extension cable from the kit to the device so that you could access the positive red cable and negative black cable power inputs of the sensor. Then, they must be connected to an external power source of 12 to 36 volts. Alright, let's assume the sensor has enough power but still does not appear in the configurator. This could be due to the 15 seconds rule. If the sensor's operating mode is changed, for example you set a TD600 to the analog mode, the next time you connect it to your laptop you will have only 15 seconds to press the FLS button in the configurator program. If those 15 seconds pass before you click the FLS button, the sensor will not connect. If this happens, you need to reconnect the sensor and press the FLS button within the said 15 seconds. This rule also manifests itself in the voltage readings on the sensor's outputs. Right now this TD600 is adjusted to work in the analog mode. We power it up and see 0 volts, which is a normal value, on the line B of the RS485 interface. Yet, after 15 seconds, the value changes, which means that the sensor switched to the analog mode. Ok, now let's assume that the sensor will not connect despite that the drivers were installed properly, the sensor has enough power and you follow the 15 seconds rule. In this case, you need to check the voltage on the sensor's outputs and compare the readings on a multimeter with the normal values that you can see in the table on your screen right now. To do so, connect one of the multimeter's cables to the negative of the sensor and the other one to the output that needs to be checked. For example, the line A of the RS485 interface, the orange cable. The voltage there must be around 3.5 volts if the sensor is working in the RS485 mode. On the white wire, there should be 0 volts. If the readings on the multimeter do not coincide with the values of the table, you need to send the sensor to us for diagnostics. If the readings on the multimeter are fine, but the device still will not connect, you need to try and update its firmware. 
we explain how this procedure is done in another video. Attention, please do not try to update the firmware without contacting us first. So now, if you have any difficulties, you know how to resolve them. But if you still have any questions, be sure to let us know. The contacts of our tech support is in the description down below.